Here I have a parallel plate capacitor. The radius of each plate is 10 centimeters. When I push the plates very close together, these little insulator pads keep the plates from touching. When pushed all the way like this, the plate separation is just over 1 millimeter, perhaps about 1.1 millimeters. We can use C equals to epsilon naught A over D to calculate for the capacitance. Epsilon naught is 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. The plate area is pi r squared, and plate separation is 0 0.0011, so we will get 0.253 nanofarad. I have a multimeter here that can measure capacitance. Let's see. It reads 0.26 nanofarad. The measured 0.26 nanofarad is very close to our calculated value. The difference probably mostly come from the uncertainty on the plate separation and the tolerance of the multimeter. What if I increase the plate separation by a factor of 3? What would the new capacitance be? Right now, the plate separation is about 3.3 millimeters. And the capacitance reading is 0.08 nanofarad. Since C equals to epsilon naught A over D, we're keeping the cross-sectional area the same. And epsilon naught, of course, is a constant. That means the C is proportional to 1 over D. When D triples, the capacitance changes by a factor of one third. So the new capacitance would be the old value, 0.253, times the factor by which it changes. It equals to 0.084 nanofarad. Our multimeter reading is 0.08 nanofarad and it can only read up to this digit.